This is your Barbados Today Morning News update for Friday, May the 18th. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. The incumbent Democratic Labour Party has declared full backing for a proposed credit union commercial bank in Barbados. Minister of Industry, Commerce and Small Business Development, Donville Innes, made the announcement last night to join the official launch of the DLP's manifesto in Oystein's Christ Church. It is now the opportunity for a bank in Barbados to be established and owned by the credit union movement. And the Democrat Labour Party pledges in this manifesto to give full support and to provide the best enabling environment for the credit unions to move from a situation now where they're putting their money in other people's bank to one where they're able to create and sustain their own banking services in Barbados. And Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports Stephen Lashley in his contribution said a major project involving a reformed public sector will provide jobs for young people here. So in our manifesto, we lay out a very dynamic and ambitious program to secure developmental financing for a youth-led project to digitize the entire record system of the public service within a specified time to bolster efficiency, to create employment for young people, and improve the ease of doing business in Barbados. Meanwhile, incumbent Barbados Labour Party St. James North candidate Edmund Hinkson has accused the government of neglecting his constituency because it is regarded as a BLP stronghold. Addressing a national BLP meeting at Zion Hill St. James Wednesday night, Hinkson said despite his constituents having to pay road taxes, their roads are never repaired. It was a road tax increased by 40% even though the roads still not repaired. And you know some of your Sodom, Rapids Road, to call the ones that are closed here, not repaired. I wrote the Minister of Transport and Public Works asking for those roads to be repaired. He called me about a year and a half ago, saying, Eddie, man, we can, we can repair a couple of roads, man. Come on, get them a couple of roads. Why name Sodom? I said Sodom needs to be repaired. And a road in Aston Hall. And his response to me was, my my, he thought Sodom would take too long to call to, to, to repair. I said, my, but you ain't serious. You can't be serious. But that is the attitude of a government that has told me, three ministers, that they're not spending one single dollar in St. James North or on, it, or on anybody in St. James North. Meanwhile, Hinkson's BLP St. Thomas colleague Cynthia Ford claims government ministers are declaring incomplete buildings open in order to have their names inserted on plaques before the May 24th general election. The one in the China shop, then the big water sorry building, this one big, a big, big building for sanitation in an industrial area that is declared for the um, recycling garbage and so on and so forth. Leave them alone. They're trying to put on a plaque on it now before election next week. Like they did in the upper bus stand. If they just bus stand yesterday and that they did on the police station that's it. Okay, garbage. When not a poor police officer could go in there to get a handcuff. No business in there since the 26th of February. No telephone lines, no proper electricity. They just put up, they put up a fence to open, shut down the fence, to build a wall, a, 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 a side wall, then to put back at the fence again. More taxpayers' money going down the drain. There's regional and international news after this short break. One night, one winner. Only one team can deliver. Balance, comprehensive, unrivaled coverage. Barbados Today, Capital Media HD 99.3, and Six Gear Studios. Don't miss Election Night on www.facebook.com forward slash Barbados Today on www.barbadostoday.bb. Live on www.capitalmediahd.com and on www.facebook.com forward slash Capital Media HD. We're back with news from the region now. The number of homeless people in Trinidad and Tobago now stands at over 400. And the Ministry of Social Development continues to be plagued with challenges in getting them off the streets. 
The ministry outlined the many obstacles as well as its plans to alleviate the problem during a joint select committee on the socially displaced. As of November 2017, the number of persons on the streets and in the displaced centers was 414, more than that of the previous year. But it cannot be factually said whether there has been an increase or decrease. 2017 was 414. And the year before? The year before, the total was 317, but we need to note that some areas, the 2017 count included some areas that were not included in the 2016. In comparing the same areas polled in 2016, however, there was a decrease in 2017 of 48 persons. Regardless of the number, only a small fraction of those persons come into the centers, voluntarily or involuntarily. And on the international scene, China has offered U.S. President Donald Trump a package of proposed purchases of American goods and other measures aimed at reducing the U.S. trade deficit with China by some $200 billion a year. More in this Reuters report. With the specter of a trade war threatening the global economy, the United States and China on Thursday launched a fresh round of trade talks in Washington. China's become very spoiled because they always got 100% of whatever they wanted from the United States. President Donald Trump is demanding a $200 billion reduction in China's massive trade surplus with the U.S. With China represented by Vice Premier Liu Ha calling for easier access to the U.S. market and an end to crushing restrictions on Chinese phone maker ZTE. Reuters correspondent David Lauder. Two U.S. officials uh, who are familiar with the talks that are going on at the Treasury Department have told us that uh, the Chinese are presenting an offer that would reduce the U.S. trade deficit with China on the order of $200 billion a year. And that's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.